is to be able to celebrate Valentine's every day of my life, you know, so that I can set the legacy for myself and for my family so they can live the best life. So uh, this is my Valentine's Day with you guys. So happy Valentine's Day, everyone, uh, for those of you who are celebrating here with us. But I won't take too much of your time, guys. I'm going to get right into it and I'm going to share with you guys today on a very interesting topic uh, that I believe you guys go through this every single day. In fact, this is one of my most favorite topic in this business, in this profession of network marketing and direct selling. So the camera's it. The camera's not here, so I need to look at you guys there, yeah. So I've got this whole setup here. Okay, I'm in the office. So I'm uh, using this for the first time. All right, guys, so first thing is today's topic is called sorting for leaders. Okay, sorting for leaders. You guys, every single day, go through people. Okay, we're in a people business, and people business can be one of the most difficult business in the world because people are just generally difficult. Okay, so this is a difficult business. This is not an easy business. You have to deal with people, not only your emotion, but you have to deal with other people' emotions as well. Right? So it can't get. It can't be challenging at times okay now the goal for us as leaders okay okay if you if you claim yourself or see yourself as a leader i want you to drop a number one on the chat if you see yourself or believe yourself you are a leader okay so i'm speaking to all the leaders here on this call you guys going through people every single day and your vision is to become a diamond, a presidential diamond, a royal diamond, and really to have that financial freedom. And that's what you ultimately you want to achieve, okay? And to get there, you're going to go through challenges. You're going to go through uh, people that you wish you didn't go through, you know? And there's going to be people that's going to let you down. There's going to be people that's going to promise you the world but not follow through. Right. There's one people that's going to be saying, you know, I will do everything, but don't do nothing, you know, and all those emotional roller coaster every single day you have to go through until you make it. But of course, when you do make it, everybody, no one really sees your journey. You know, everybody just sees that you made it to the top. And a lot of times we even question ourselves, say, did people actually go through what I'm going through right now? Maybe they did it. Maybe they had an easier route. Maybe they didn't go through that specific story that I'm going through right now. And so today, I want you guys to know that if you can become master at managing your ERC, your emotional roller coaster, you're going to have a great journey in this business. And the quicker you master this ERC, the better it is for you and for your business and for your team. Unfortunately, some people um, don't even kind of manage it even when they become a diamond. <laughs> they still act like they just started. Some people, it takes them very, very long time to, to figure out and manage this emotional roller coaster. Okay. Now, here's what I know some people, it's going to take them three months to become a diamond in this company. For some, it will take them a year. For some, it will take them three years. Some will take them uh, maybe weeks, okay? Now, here's one thing that I know, is that it's not the ones that, that are the fastest diamond in the company. It is the one that actually is going to last. Because there are people that's gonna come and go, and your goal is to be able to identify who to spend most of your time with. See, we all have the same 24 hours, but yet everybody has different type of results because some are great at identifying who to spend most of the time with. Now, don't get me wrong. Some people are going to get lucky, okay? But luck can get you there, but it won't sustain you there. Does that make sense, guys? You will see people sometimes just come in the company and they become diamond in three months and they make all this money, but it doesn't necessarily mean they'll stay there, okay? They'll go back to exactly where they belong because they have never really developed here, okay? They just got there. And others, they will go through trenches and a level of growth 
And when they become that person, you're going to see them going from diamond to presidential diamond to royal diamond to ambassadors. But they went through a process of pain of growth. And then others, they just, bam, they probably hit diamond, but they just stuck there. They just can't move from there anymore, right? And some people even quit there, okay? Some people even just quit there. So I want to share with you guys a story by using a deck of cards, okay? Now, if you guys are playing a game, right, how many cards do we have on a deck of cards? 52, right? Including the jokers, 54, right? Now, how many aces are in a deck of cards? Four, right? We have four aces in a deck of cards. For you to become a millionaire, you will need four aces in your business. If you want to make a million dollars a year, you need to produce at least two aces on the left, two aces on the right. And these are diamonds and above. Now, there will be some pretenders, and we're going to identify them. Right on this call, we're gonna we're gonna identify the pretenders. We're gonna identify the jokers, right? Uh, but our goal is to find the aces. Now, look, you may recruit hundreds of people, but not all of them is going to get you to seven figures or even multiple six figures. It's the four that's gonna get you to seven figures or even eight figure income. It's the four. It's not all of them. But you, for you to find those four, you have to go through number of people. Some people write on the chat numbers. This is a numbers game. We want to go through the numbers to be able to find our aces. Why? Because aces are going to give you the leverage, going to give you the financial freedom. They're not the pretenders. They're the real leaders. They're the one that's going to be building a legacy with you for years, three, four, five, 10 years. When this company is a 10, 20 years old company, you're going to see these people running with you, celebrating with you. And they're not easy to find, just like aces. Now, if you shuffle a deck of cards, what are the chances the four aces to be right at the top, right? So if we shuffle this deck of cards, right? What are the chances this, the, the aces, all four of them at the top? Zero. Right? If you shuffle them, what chance they're all at the top? Zero. What are the chances they're all at the bottom? Zero. But what are the chances they're somewhere in between? Highly likely. To find these aces, we're going to have to go through number of cards. And our goal is to go through them as quickly as possible so that we can find the aces. Are you guys with me here so far? Our goal is to find the aces. There's only four of them. The four people in your business are going to make you multi-millionaire. The others are going to be the people that you have to go through to find them. I want you to imagine every person you meet is the gateway to your aces. Write this down. Every person that you meet offline or online is a gateway to your aces. Now, how many people do you go past every single day? Can you imagine that one person, that if you just spoke to them, they, could, they may not be the aces, they can lead you to the aces. And that next person can lead you to the aces. So I want to share with you guys some stories that I personally went through that I want to show you today, that you're going to go through them and you can't avoid them, okay? Some try to avoid them, but I'm telling you, it's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. So here's what's going to happen. Let's see what we, can, what we have the first card. The seven of hearts. You guys can see? This is the seven of hearts. Okay? Now, seven of hearts, you present to them. Okay? You call them up, and they see the opportunity, and they're super excited. They're super pumped up. They're like, oh, my God, this is so amazing. Why have I not seen this thing all my life? This thing is absolutely insane. They're jumping up and down. They're over the moon. And you tell them, calm down. I'm going to show you how to go through every single step so that you can have the success. I don't want you to make the mistakes that I made. So I'm going to show you how to invite. I'm going to show you how to present. I'm going to show you how to go through step by step by step. But they can't help themselves. 
So they go and they, after you, after they got off the call with you from a Zoom call or for an online meeting or offline meeting, they now pick up the phone and start calling everyone they're, clo they're close to. The mom, the dad, their best friends, everyone. And the first three calls they make to test people on the other line, they're like, what did you just see? They're like, there's this thing I saw, we can get two by two by two by two and you get rich. And they're like, what are you talking about? I've never heard of something like that ever in my life. Are you crazy? They're like, you don't understand. You can make all the way up to $1.2 million per month. They're like, you are on drugs. There is no way there's something like that exists. What did you see? And they're like, you don't understand. You have to see it. I'm telling you, it's super easy. All it is, I'll sign you up. You're going to be on my left side. I'm going to sign up my other friend that I know. He'll be on the other side. And then after that, I'm going to help you guys get yours. And then, then, and then we're done. We're rich, right? This thing automatically flows. And we're going to have cash flow coming in. We're going to have residual income. And they're like, what? Have you lost your mind? What are you talking about? They're like, okay, I get it. You don't understand, but I'll show you properly. You hang up and you call the next person. And this time it's your mom. You're like, mom, I've seen the best thing in the world. I'm going to change your life forever. You, you, know, you have no idea what I've seen. This is the most craziest thing I have seen. We can make millions of dollars on a monthly basis. And your mom like, come and see me ASAP. Because I think this pandemic has got you. So let me meet with you, sit with you, and we'll talk about this properly. Come home. But you don't want to listen. You're like, mom, you don't understand. I'll show you when I see you. You call up your best friend and he says, this is one of those scams. I've heard about them before. Whatever you do, just don't call them again. Block them, get out of it. Come and see me ASAP and I'll tell you about it. Otherwise, we'll speak over the phone properly, but these things are pure scams, whatever you do. And now you're three of the closest people that you trust the most. They're telling you this thing is completely too good to be true. So this seven of hearts, you told them not to tell anybody anything. Guess what they do? They tell everybody what they shouldn't tell. And this person just blocks you. And you're messaging them, say, I knew you were excited, but now you're trying to get hold of them and they can't, they don't, they don't pick up. They don't reply to your messages. Why? Because they did something called a verbal vomiting. Okay. All right. You realize now, this is your goal right now. This is what you have to do. That this wasn't your ace. This wasn't your ace. You, do you understand? This was not your ace. So you shouldn't waste your energy and time thinking about it. What do you have to do? You throw it away. You move on to the next person. And this one is an interesting one. Right? You find now the six of spades. This is the six of spades. You guys can see? This one says, I know everyone, but this thing that you just showed me right now, why isn't everybody doing it? I mean, this thing is just too good to be true. Why isn't everyone doing this? You're like, look, if everybody could do it, they will all be rich. And he's like, there's got to be a catch. There is no way this thing is so good. I mean, this is so real. I want to do this. Why isn't everyone doing this? And now you're trying to convince this person why this is the best thing in the world. But they have questions after question. They're like, no, but I don't think this is for real. I think this is too good to be true. That moment you need to realize that you can follow up with them, answer their question, but you can't spend your time with them because they're not your ace. What do you have to do? You have to get rid of them and you have to move on to the next person. And here, this is the next one, eight of clubs. This is one of your closest guy and you pick up the phone and you tell him, I need to tell you something. But then when you hung up the phone, he said, yeah, that's really interesting. I'm going to come and see it. When you hang up the phone, this guy doesn't pick up your phone anymore. And you're like, what did I do? He said, you want to come and see it. 
By the way, most people quit on the second card I just told you about. But some people get to the third card. They get to the third card and this individual, you call them, they pick up the phone, they hang up the phone, they say they'll be on the Zoom call, they don't show up on the Zoom call anymore. You call them again, they say, I'll be on the Zoom call, they don't show up on the Zoom call again. You call them again and then they say, I will be on the call. And after the 20th time you called them on a several days and they say they will be on the Zoom call, but they never show up on the Zoom call, you got to realize this is not your ace. And you got to move on from that. You got to throw it away and you got to move on to the next person. You find the queen of diamonds. Oh, this is an interesting one. You sign up the queen of diamonds and they sign by the subscription. At first they say, I will be a customer and I'm going to try the product and see if the product actually works. And if the product really works, I know so many people, I'm going to invite everybody and I'm going to show them everything. So what happens is that they do end up using the product and the product now works. They love the product. This is like, this is awesome. This is amazing. So what they do now, they end up inviting a lot of people. Some sign up, some don't, and they end up becoming a sapphire. You don't throw that one away because they have all the potential. You keep them, right? You keep this one. You don't throw this one away. Queen of diamonds. Because she, they hit sapphire, they hit consultant, they hit sapphire. They're making progress, okay? They could potentially become an ace. We don't know that, all right? We're not for sure. And the next one is a five. Guys, this is a five. Here, five of diamonds. Now, this guy says... When they have e-commerce, I'll sign up. Everything else is great. So now finally, you have that. Now they say, when the shift app have more results, then I'll do it. Finally, shift app has great results. Then you show them that. Then they say, well, when they have a crypto app, then I'll do it. You show them. We have all that stuff happening right now. The app is getting launched soon. They say, okay. That's great, that's coming soon. But I will only join when they have a big iconic leader joins the company. And you're like, we have so many people with six figure, seven figure earners in the company, who do you want? And they say, no, but I know that company have this guy and this guy speaks so good, you know, but, but you don't have the results. But, but yeah, but he speaks so well. I like to be part of that mentorship. So I will wait until he joins your company, but then I will join. You have to understand this is not your ace. You have to move on. What do you do with this kind of person? What do you do? You have to move on, right? You move to the next person. Oh, this is interesting. This is a really good one. 10 of clubs. 10 of clubs. This one sees the opportunity and they slam their hand on the table. If they can, they wanna pick you up through the, through the Zoom and they say, you are doing a scam. This is one of those pyramid thing. You're gonna to go to jail. I know someone, someone else did it and they spent their whole life in jail by doing this. And they're so damn sure about what they're saying. You're like, really? Like, yeah. I know people that was in the same company and they, they're in now in jail. You're like, wow, I didn't know. You have to understand this is not your ace. They're just here to create fear and doubts in your mind, tell you something they don't even know. And they're telling you something for the sake of telling you just because some of something they don't understand. So what do you do? You throw them away, you move on. Oh, this one's good. This is a jack of diamonds. This is the Jack of Diamonds. This one says, I will be your next crown ambassador in the company. With or without anyone, I'll be your crown ambassador. And you are so excited when they said that. They go out and they end up speaking to a lot of people. They're signing up, they're making money. They end up hitting a consultant. They're not getting the results, but what they, what they, what they now do is they start blaming the system. They say the company should have better products. 
the company should have better compensation plan. They should have better system. In fact, they could have done more better if they did this. Because of that, I'm not going crown ambassador. Because of that, I'm not hitting diamonds. The jack of diamonds is not going diamond because he is a consultant and he thinks the system should change for him so that he can go crown ambassador. We don't throw him away. We keep him on the side. Who knows? He might change his mind. The three. Okay. Three of spades. He's with the same story. Why isn't the whole world is doing this? Everyone should be doing this. If this thing is so good, everyone should be doing this. And you very quickly realize this is not an ace. You got to throw them away and you got to move on to the next person. Oh, wow. Look what you landed up on. The Joker. This is the Joker, guys. Take a close look at this Joker. You got to watch out for the Jokers because the Jokers can make you quit. This one says... You see his Instagram, you see his Facebook, has a decent presence. And he comes and he says, this is an amazing compensation plan, show me more. And you spend your time, hours, showing the compensation plan, in and out. He said, show me more about the products. You show in and out about the products, the results, the testimonials, and he even connects on some of your Zoom calls to see how everything you're doing. And he said, this is amazing. I have a huge group of people that are about to launch. There are at least a couple of hundred people will, will start on the very first week. I'm ready to start. After you spend days with them, because they said they are, they, they, you know, they're going to kill this thing because they have the past credibility of doing something. And, and they say, I know so many people. I'm connected with big communities. I'm connected with a lot of credible people. I have a huge following. And you get so excited, you can't sleep at night thinking about this is your ace, but it's not your ace. It's a joker, but you don't know that. You think that's an ace because it's pretending to be an ace. He has all the characteristics of an ace. He has work ethic, hunger, desire. He has vision. He's excited. He's pumped up. He has influence. And he comes and tells you this on the day of the sign up. He says, I'm actually really excited, but I'm not excited to sign up here. I'm joining a new company because of this, 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 this reason. And you should join me too. You have great potential. I've always seen how hard you work, but you know, you can make way more money over there because you can be the early pioneers and join with me in this movement. After they've wasted days of spending time with you, telling them they're going to begin with you. And now they say, I am now going to a new company. But don't forget, this joker comes back six months later again to you and says, what are you up to? And he said, I'm still in the same deal. You say, I'm still doing the same thing. I've reached the rank of Ruby. You should start here, man. We can go diamond together. And this joker says, this is great but I have a better deal. Come and follow me onto that one. Be careful because you can fall for the trap. Watch out for these jokers, the clowns, they're everywhere. They're always bouncing from one to another, to another, to another. Watch out, and they come in different forms, these jokers. These jokers can make you quit, right? So watch out for these jokers. Don't throw it away, keep it on the side just to remind you what a joker looks like right? And you continue to the next person. This is a king, guys, king of clubs. This one comes in, hits ruby. Amazing. This is your first ruby in your game, guys. Save it, right? They could be your ace, but you don't know that. But we're going to keep them here. We're going to save them. This is eight of hearts. You guys can see the eight of hearts. Guys, if you guys can see what I'm showing you here, I want you guys to drop a number five on the chat right? This is the eight of hearts, guys. This one comes in, hits a sapphire, but you got to give them some time. It's going to take some time. They're moving, but they'll eventually go diamond. We don't know that for sure yet. Over time, they might become the ace, but we don't know that, but we're going to keep them safe, right? This is the next one, guys. Two of clubs, right? This is the two of clubs. Watch out for this one. What this one does, it says, I know a lot of people. 
and he gets you on a lot of Zoom calls and a lot of people do show up, but nobody joins him or nobody joins her because they lack a lot of credibility, right? So nobody joins them and now they end up blaming the company and the products and the system. They say, maybe it's attractive to me, but my followers, the people that I know, it's not attractive to them. Maybe it's not a good opportunity. Maybe I should just give up. Maybe I should just quit, right? And they quit and they just move on, right? What do you do? You have to understand, this is not your age. You gotta move on. The next one, this is the 10 of spades, guys. Says all the money, okay, this one says he has all the money, but when you try to put a payment through, right? Nothing goes through. You try PayPal, it doesn't work. You try different cards, it doesn't work. You say, okay, we can maybe get process with cryptocurrency. He said, nah, I'm not interested in that one. You give them multiple options and they're like, no, I think the system doesn't work. But you soon realize they actually don't have the money to start. So they're making all the excuses, telling you they have all the money, but they are giving you the card that doesn't have any money. So. Okay, maybe you'll have someday money. We'll keep you on the side. We'll follow up with you. See how it goes. Then you have the queen of, this is the queen of hearts. Okay. The queen of hearts, she comes in, she hits the ruby. Boom, you're ranking up, guys. You're going emerald, right? You have the queen. By the way, a lot of people, they quit by this time, right? A lot of people give up. And then you continue, you shuffle the cards and then you land up on this guy, right? This guy is Jack of Spades. This one pretends to be an ace. This one hits the rank of Emerald in the quickest time and quits. And you're like, what just happened? I don't know. Let's move on. Let's find out. We're looking for an ace. All right, guys? We're looking for our ace. Hold on. Let me see if you guys can see me. We're looking for ace, yeah? We're searching for the ace. Let's move to the next one. Whoa, 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 whoa. Look what's happened here, guys. we got another joker. We have another joker. You guys remember the joker? This is the joker. What do we do with when we find jokers? Because we got to watch out for the jokers. Once again, this one fooled you. The joker has fooled you guys. He pretended that he is going to be in the company for 10 years. He told you he'll be here for 10 years. You know, he shows up and he ends up hitting even, this guy even ends up hitting the rank of diamond. Whoa, 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 whoa. what's going on? Have we got the, is this the ace? Is this the ace? He even hit diamond in the company. And what happened to him is that his ego go into his head he starts to talk a lot about how he is the best person in the company, but then soon you realize the Joker just got bought and moved out to another company telling everybody this company is not great. Let's go to another one. Because on the next one, I'll put you at the top. On the, this Joker is not only the Joker, this Joker is about to make you quit because he's about to hurt your whole team. He came in, because his only motivation in life is money. There's no other values. He told everybody he'll be in the company for 20 years. But now he said, I'm out. I'm out. What they told me is not true. I made a few hundred thousand dollars, but it's not true anymore because I got a better deal. But he doesn't want to tell you that. He doesn't want to tell you that because why? He's the joker. He's a joker. Everybody recognize this joker. This joker is going to come at you and tell you, I made a lot of money. I hit diamonds. I was the ace. Listen, I was the ace. I was in this guy's team. I was the ace. But listen, I'm moving on because this is not the right company, guys. Let's move on. Follow me. Follow me. I'm about to go to the best company in the world. Remember when I started in the beginning and I hit those six figures? Guys, I'm telling you, it's about timing. Follow me. We're off to the next one, right? We're off to the next one and boom, you got to watch out because this one can make you quit, right? This one can make you quit. It happened to me. It happened to me. I had a guy hit six figures. Yeah. That he promised me that he will be with me to ride or die. You know, you'll be ride or die. I'm like, this is my best friend in the world. I found the ace. 
And next thing you know, he is putting his middle finger and moving on. Not only he's going, he's trying to take the team with him as well because of his own issues, his own political issues, because of his own ego issues, because of his own problem. He's about to put everyone's life on stake to tell them things that he shouldn't, but he's telling everybody as if that's the truth. He is the joker because he's about to take you to the next deal, to the next deal, to the next deal, to the next deal. What's going to happen? The joker will keep on moving. You don't throw it away. You got to remember, they come in different form and different faces. So we save them. We put them in the pocket, guys. We never throw the jokers away. There's the other one. I'm going to save him because next time I can't be fooled. We got to be good at identifying aces and not jokers. Write this down. Those who you think will be with you for 10 years won't. Those who you think won't with you for 10 years end up be with you for 10 years. Those who you think will be a diamond will not be a diamond. Those who you think won't be a diamond, they end up becoming a diamond. Remember one thing, never judge people based on the current results, whether it's good or bad. Write this down. Never judge people based on the current results, whether it's good or bad. Let's move on, guys. We've got to find the ace. What's this one? What do we have? What do we have? Write this down, guys. I want you guys to interact with me on the chat. Write this down. What do we have here? This is the eight. This is the eight of spades. I have a story to tell you on this one. This one is a real interesting one. This one, I signed him up. And he said that he, he knows everybody and he has the biggest influence in the entire world. He's the biggest leader, but he wants some money up front. He wants me to pay him so that he can start. He's got the biggest deal. He goes, connect me to the owners. Connect me to your biggest leaders because without any cash up front, I'm not saying yes to this. He wants the cash. This one wants the cash up front without doing shit, right? You're like, no, but we don't do that here. We don't, we don't, we don't do, I know you're going to go and sell this story to other people that you got offered cash, but we don't do that shit here. You got to go somewhere else for that, right? We don't offer you upfront deal. doesn't matter what you've done. doesn't matter. You made eight figures or seven figures in the industry. We don't give you no upfront money here. So if you want upfront money, this is the wrong place. What do you do? You throw them away and you move on because you're looking for the aces. You're looking for the good people, quality people, loyal people who believe in your vision, in your mission, right? Have the similar kind of work ethic and hunger like you do, loyalty like you do. You want those kind of people, we move on. We find the next guy. This one is great. This one begins in the company and the only thing they do is freaking complain about everything. They say they, they can do everything, but all they do is complain, 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 complain in your ears all the time. You're just like, man, everyone's having results. Why aren't you? And he's like, yeah, but system don't work. They're like, I get it. Get out of the way, man. I've got to find the ace. Guys, we found a black and white joker again. What do we do with jokers? We don't throw them. We keep them in our pocket, but we identified them. And we're going to play with them this time, right? We won't let them play with us. We know how to play with them. We're going to keep them. We move on. The seven. This is great. This one goes a sapphire. That's great. This one, the three. This one says, travel with me to Houston, Texas. And you probably live on the other side of the United States. And he says, I have a huge group of people ready to launch with me. And you end up in their house. You drive for three hours. You think this is it. This guy's going to kill this business. You go there. You ring the bell. The lights were on. When you ring the bell, the lights goes off. You're knocking on the door around the house. They're like, what's going on, bro? You invited me all the way down here. What do I do? And now you're like, what is this? This was supposed to be a lot easier than this. And you move on. A lot of people quit here, by the way, but you don't. You put your sad music on and you listen to your sad music all the way back home. You're like, no worries. I'll find them. I'll find my aces. I'm looking for the aces. We find the queen. The queen, she's good. She goes sapphire, but she's not your ace. We find the next one. We found an ace. Guys, we found an ace. We go our first 
Ace, this is a real one. This is not the pretender. We got the ace. After all this, what we went through, guys, most people quit. But you didn't. You didn't. You kept on going. You didn't give up. And we found the ace, guys. Give it a big kiss. Take care of this ace. Because I'm telling you, you got to appreciate your ace. Because if you don't appreciate them, they are not going to be happy. You got to take care of your aces, right? Because remember, other people trying to jack your aces at the same time. So watch out. Keep your aces safe. Keep them well. Treat them well. Respect them. They're going to respect you back. We keep them in our pocket. We keep them safe. Remember, we're going to build a legacy with them. We got our first ace after going through many of them. We found the next one, guys. Look at this one. This is a four. This is not the ace. We move on. We go to the next one. This is the nine. This is not the ace. We move to the next one. We found another ace. We found another one. Sometimes you go through so many people to find one, and then you just go through a few and you find your next ace because you didn't give up. Because you didn't give up. You kept on going while others quit. You went through the jokers and you continued because people, when they face jokers, they give up. It's a hard one. It's a hard one facing jokers. But boom, you continue, right? Because what do we do with aces, guys? We take care of them, right? We take, where did, where did my, where did my ego, man? Where is it going? I can't lose it. Oh, there it is. Let me save it. Uh, let's get comfortable. We got we to gotta keep on going. We got, got two more aces to go. What do we have? Oh, we got the jack. This is another pretender. This one signs up and has all the quality of an ace, but it's not your ace. It, it spends, uh, takes a lot of your time, a lot of your energy. You spend hours and hours explaining for them, hours and hours presenting for them. They don't appreciate nothing that you do for them. All they do is they want more from you. But it doesn't matter how much you, you don't get a thank you back, but they want more. They want more. And the more they get, the more like, no, like they want more. You keep on giving them, it's never enough, but don't spend too much time on them. That's not your ace. You gotta move on. We don't throw them, we keep them. Threes of hearts. Guys, write some story down that you came through and I haven't been through. I one time traveled for this guy for several days with him, did presentation after presentation after presentation. Watch this one, guys. This is a freaking interesting one. There's one guy we met. He connected us to his three of his people, of his best friends. They're all broke, by the way. They have no money to start. So we're like, no problem. Let's find some more people through you. Maybe they will have money. Or we'll help you make some money. Every guy we meet through them, they're all broke. They have no money. All of them have the same story. They say, I don't have the money to begin. Well, you don't have $45. How are you surviving? They're like, no, I don't have the money to start. Like, no problem. Let me help you make money. And you end up meeting 20 of their friends. They, they all have the same story. After spending a month with them, you realize this is a time waster. It's just playing games with you. You got to throw them away and you got to move on to the next person because that wasn't your ace. And we end up finding the ace. Sometimes we end up going through things that we don't want to go through and we don't give up and we continue and we end up finding our third ace. Give it a kiss. Keep it safe. This is your ace, right? We saved them. Another one. Guys, we got another ace. We found one, and the next one was right next to it. How is that possible? We've been waiting for this. We've been waiting for this for years to get to this. And we now end up finding two aces sitting next to each other. And we don't stop just in case one of them ends up being a pretender. So we don't stop, we stay on phase one and we continue, 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 continue in case we find more aces, in case that one of them was a pretender, in case the joker has showed up, in case we get betrayed again, we never stop. We keep on looking for the aces. We keep on going, maybe on a low pace, but we keep moving to find the aces because the pretenders could be in the, in the aces. Because diamonds end up being pretenders, guys. Can you believe it? That's crazy. That's crazy. So understand one thing. Longevity creates credibility. 
Longevity equals credibility. Okay? Longevity. Some people are just the grasshoppers. They keep on hopping, guys. One place to the next place to the next place to the next place. I get it. The first time you made a mistake. I get it. You made the mistake the second time. The third time? Again? Again? Like, you can't. You can't keep on jumping to places to places. It doesn't make sense to me. Anyways, guys, I'm going to keep on going through that, but not on this call. We're doing another call. We keep on searching for these stories that what we go through every single day to find our aces. The moral of the story is you got to become great at sorting. And not everybody's going to go through what you're going to go through. Everyone's going to have a different story. Never compare your story to someone else's. Never compare your journey to someone else's. Everybody's going to have a different story. But just remember one thing. Everybody has to go through the dump. You can't go over it. You can't go under it. You can't go around it. You have to go through it. And some people try to go around it, try to find a shortcut, end up hitting some ranks. But they'll come back to exactly where they belong because they haven't gone through what you've gone through. Just because you haven't made six figures, figures before someone else, it doesn't make you less valuable. Just always remember that money does not always equal the value of someone. In fact, nobody's value because increases because of the money they're making. Values has to be determined not with money because your value reflects your action. Your values reflect your results. Your value reflects where you're going. Your value reflects how you treat other people. Your value reflects your identity. Set your values. Don't be followed and chased by monetary value and money. I'm telling you guys, because those who ever done that, they always led to wrong places because they're consciously, all they care about is money. Not the people, the money. The people who always brag, 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 brag about money, 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 money. And they lack a lot of values. You can't be, you gotta humble yourself. You can't be bragging about money all the time. And you're gonna go through people. You're gonna come across people. You're gonna go through numbers that you're gonna show them the money you're making. You're gonna show them your bank finance. You're gonna show them your back office. You show them everything and they still think it's a scam. What do you do? So money will not always reflect of who you are. It's the value that you built amongst the Remember, reputation is something takes years to build, takes a minute to destroy. So always remember that. Never follow the people that lack values. Everyone can create a freaking story out of something but if your heart belongs somewhere of where you are, and if you have the wrong term, long term thinking where you want to be, listen, it really doesn't matter who your upline is. It really doesn't matter who you signed up with. It really doesn't matter who your royal diamond is. It really doesn't matter who your diamond is. It doesn't matter who your emerald is. It doesn't matter who your ambassador is. Because you didn't, you're not doing this for them. You're doing this for you, for your family, for your future, for your legacy. You joined in this company so that you can be here for the next five, 10 years. Not the next guy who decides I want to go there and I want to go there and let's jump into the next one. Listen, become the leader and not the follower. Become the leader. A leader is someone who goes the way, shows the way, shows how things are done and shows longevity. I've always seen great leaders. In our case, we started in one company in direct selling, right? And Things were going really well, and we made a mistake. We ended up joining a company that costed our reputation, right? Till this day, people talk about it, cost our reputation. Then we went to a product-based company. It kept on following that mistake. And then we said, we had enough, and we want to open our own company just so that we can build a home for the next 10, 15 years. Guys, three years, this company is running, three years. We'll be here for the next 20, 30 years. Remember that. 20, 30 years, plant your flag right here today. Make a decision today. That doesn't matter who it is, who comes your way, what comes your way. You're going to go right to the top and you will be the crown ambassador in this company. Doesn't matter who comes and who goes. You are doing this for your legacy and for your future. Don't be the next follower. Become the leader in this company. Become the leader in this company. Not somewhere else, right here.
We're just getting started. Guys, with that being said, thank you so much for connecting on this call. I love these Sundays calls because I get to see you guys. I get to see your excitement. I don't know what you guys go through every Sunday. I swear to God, I don't know what you guys go through. But one thing that I do know that it's going to be worth it in the end because I've been through those things. I know the reason why I'm so passionate on Sunday, on Valentine's Day, I could be at home right now. I don't have to be here right now. The whole day today, I don't have to be here right now. But I'm here right now speaking to you guys because I know what you guys go through. People in the corporate, a lot of people don't understand that, what you guys go through. I've been there. I know what it feels like to go through rejection. I know what it feels like to go through challenges. I know what it feels like to, to just not have any hope and still try one more day, still go on for one more day. I know what it feels like to have completely no hope and have no sign of success, but still continuing, believing that one day I'll make it. I know what that feels like. So I salute you guys. I appreciate you guys and I love you guys for everything that you do. You guys are voluntary soldiers in this company, knowing that this platform can take you to your goals and your vision and your dreams. And I promise you, until my last breath in this company, we will not let you guys down. We'll continue to work every single day so that we can have the best environment for you guys to win and succeed in this company. That being said, God bless you guys. Take care of yourself and have a great week ahead. Bye-bye.